Too bad. What's up, everybody? My name is Mr. Dupa. That right there is Animal Beasties Rodriguez. Hello. And Drunk Dave Romero. It's me, Dave. Tonight's brew is the Blue Moon <laughs> Harvest Pumpkin Ale, and we're going to load that bitch up with some uh, Smirnoff whipped cream. Uh, this was Obi's idea. I don't know where you got it from. The internet. The internet. Okay. Yeah. That's internet. where we get most things. Yep. Uh, so no, let's do no this. ever original, man. Duh. <laughs> this is the One Bearing Podcast. Squeeze. twist off. Least aggressive pumpkin taste. Yeah, it's a very ever. Yeah, yeah, very light on the mm-hmm. pumpkin. Yeah, that's kind of what I was expecting with Blue Moon, though. You know, they, their flavored beers don't have like super pungent taste. I mean, it's there. I taste it. It's just not. I mean, I don't really like pumpkin, so I'm not bitching about it. I don't know how much shot I should put in here. I mean, you fill that bitch up. That's what Back you said. Up to the that's what you said. Okay. Leave a tiny bit for it to mix. No, no, no. Fill that bitch up. I can't see it anymore. <laughs> Do it till you can't see it. <laughs> Fuck that bitch. Shit. Fuck that bitch. All right, there you go. There you go. Way to go. You did it. it. I think it brings out the pumpkin a little bit more, mm. uh, but not much. It just adds sweetness to it, I think. Yeah. So. I wanted this to taste like a pumpkin pie. I think that's not. the idea, but yeah. I don't taste it in this. It needs to be more of a pumpkin-y tasting beer. And more pumpkin-y. More, yeah, more pumpkin-y. pumpkin-y. Stinky. Nah, well. It's okay. It still tastes good. I we mean, can't, can we... I think we can rate Blue Moon on the merits of its pumpkin taste. Not very good. No. Compared to Shipyard or even um, uh, Sam Adams. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not very good. No. I'm I mean, not, I it doesn't impressed. taste bad, but it definitely, like, Shipyard is very, very pumpkin pumpkin yes. tasting. Uh, and that's what you want. If you're getting a seasonal brew that's a pumpkin ale, you want to taste the pumpkin in it, right? That's the idea. You don't want it to be, like, a hint of pumpkin. Yeah. This is just like all their other uh, beers. That's what, That was the point I was making before, was that it reminds me of the chocolate one we got that was just, like, a hint of chocolate. No, the chocolate one we got was just chocolate. It tasted incredibly like chocolate. Yeah, like the wait, was that Blue Moon? Yeah, that was we, no, yeah. that was Shock Top. Oh, Man, see, that's why. Mm. Yeah. See, this I knew there was something wrong with Blue Moon. No, you didn't. I did. Nah. I didn't have a choice. I mean, I could have drove around looking for Southern yeah. Tier. Should have gone. Not doing that. <laughs> why you went to Walmart thinking they would have Southern Tier? I. It was on the way home. That's exactly why. <laughs> that's yeah. They should have at least had shipyard. Most places have shipyard. Yeah. But anyway, alas, yeah. yeah. Um, rating. Uh, Are we doing well, it on the beer alone? Is that the what we should review? I think that's what we should stick to reviewing. Yeah. The beer alone. Beer alone, three. I would go two point five. Honestly, Ooh. I was disappointed. One. Really? <laughs> God, you're yeah. so harsh with your reviews. Not a big fan man. of this shit. All right. I'm not. Uh, so harsh. Impressed. We have a switching gear, switching beers brew in there, so I did uh, see that. Yeah, maybe we'll get into that. <clears throat> well, so anyway, this is the One Bearing Podcast, episode twenty six. Is it? Yeah, twenty six. We did twenty five last time. Yeah, yeah, we did. It's just yeah, weird because we're recording on a Sunday. Yeah, yeah, it we're doesn't feel like <laughs> we're a little off here. <laughs> it's Labor Day weekend though, so yeah. Are you guys doing anything? Uh, not really. To drive back. Yeah, I think so. the both of you have to work. I'm working, so. yeah. Well, no, I don't work tomorrow. I just, I just have to be there because I work, well, I work Tuesday in Delray. Yeah, I got a show down there. Yeah, no, no big deal. <laughs> no big deal, NBD. 
Got a got a gig down there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna be dancing. <laughs> Sounds good. <laughs> That's how we fund this podcast until we get a Kickstarter. Yep. I uh yeah. I make double though. At least. That's good. You working tomorrow? Yeah. Fuck that. Take a day off. You I, dumb bitch. I did. Took days off. <laughs> Wasn't impressed. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the big deal is. Uh, I'd rather make double, cause, I mean, and it was too late anyway. My mom told me last night that they were doing. You something. have to work. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to work. That's Marco. final. My mom she wanted me not me. to work. She don't tell me when to work. I'm a grown man. <clears throat> but anyway, so yeah. Um, sure, jumping right in. Yeah. Um, well, it's the way to do it. Yeah. That's <laughs> the only way. How we always do around it's literally here. literally 25 clips of you just going, let's jump right let's in. Ju- <laughs> just, just jump right in. That was going to be 26. Yeah, why not? <laughs> it's tradition. Keep it going, yeah. I've stopped saying, uh, it looks delicious. <laughs> That's right. No, <laughs> we're going to have a good time. We're going to have a good time. This is catchphrases. I don't know how many times there are, like, how many catchphrases there are of me saying, you have a catchphrase. <laughs> I've said it a couple times. Yeah. <laughs> We're cartoon characters. Yeah. Anyway, um, maybe I'll stick with it then. Yeah, might as well. I'll bring it back. So it's a good, good sound for you. I put way too much uh, Smirnoff in this. Like it's, a grown man. It is not good. <laughs> Dude, here, try this. Let me try yours. Because yeah, this still smells like beer. Yeah. Yeah, that's still like there's a little bit of beer left in that. Yeah, you uh, you put too much. <laughs> Um, anyway right so uh, I don't know if you guys have heard about actually I do know you Marco we've talked about it in the past but there's been this air mystery over a new hip hop artist supposedly new hip hop artist I should say named Ural Druk which is apparently in Russian supposed to translate to friend loosely from what I hear it's also in Clockwork Orange that's where I first heard it from me too um in their like future slang, so anyway, future love word slang. <laughs> exactly, I love that album. Uh, so this big air mystery around this guy has been because he clearly sounds like Nas. And no, it's not clearly. It's just. It's I don't like, think it's clearly. Okay, if Nas was rapping differently or had some kind of effect on his voice, right. mm-hmm. yes. yes. But he does not clearly sound like Nas. There's a difference. Well, I mean, that. okay, all right. So, so yeah, I, I get exactly what you're saying, but that that that's the point though. It's, it's the people are saying it's Nas, and he just put an effect on his yeah, voice. Yeah, okay, which doesn't clearly. Sound but right, like Nas. yeah, okay, it doesn't like you don't I can listen understand to it. And go, how oh, that's well, that's Nas. I can understand how someone would think it sounds like Nas. That's that's what I'm saying. Okay, okay. Continue. Just I'm just sleeping. finish it, and then we'll. You guys, yeah, you guys are jumping into it already. Yeah. But well, let's jump right into it. Let's jump right into it. This is one beer <laughs> podcast. We're gonna have a good time. <laughs> Um, but yeah, no. It looks uh, delicious. It looks delicious. We're gonna have a good time. Um, Say that before every topic. This topic looks delicious. We're gonna have a good time. It's the One Bear Podcast. Oh my God! Shut up. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> Finish your fucking story. It's the to one me. Bear to me, from the first time I heard your old Drew, I was like, "This is Nas. This is Nas with an effect on his voice, and that's it. This is just a big publicity stunt. Um, this is some kind of like internet marketing." type of thing going on because Nas needed some kind of rebranding or something and this air mystery about it's gonna be the thing that you know gets him revamped on the internet because that's really what in my opinion sells hip hop nowadays is that internet buzz Mm -hmm. you know it's no longer getting played on the radio because that's become you know or just good music period it's just generating a large buzz Mm -hmm. yeah specifically on the internet on the internet because mixtapes aren't really a thing anymore yeah. It, like physically, yeah. Uh, nobody cares what Hot 97's playing. Yeah, you know. that place is imploding on itself. Yes, God, I hope it burns down. <laughs> it is. People Slow. are quitting slowly but surely. Uh, they're starting. To, people are like starting to actually finally realize that it's a piece of shit radio station. It's become yeah. a parody of itself. Uh, it really is. Like that. Like that Action Bronson video you made me watch. Mm-hmm. It was completely entertaining, but I I could have done without the radio personality. Right. At all. His interview. I don't even, I don't even bother yeah. remembering their names. I don't know what their names are. But they needed to shut that Ebro, whatever, yeah. man. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's good. That place needs to die, <laughs> and be reborn as a legitimate radio station. Like they were. I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, it wasn't Ebro. It was 
Pete Rosenberg mm-hmm. was going back and forth with uh, Chuck D on Twitter. Oh yeah, about yeah. the 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 merits of Hot ninety seven and what it brings to hip hop. Because Chuck D was like, the 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 festival that they have now, it's bullshit. Hot ninety seven's bullshit. Basically, they listen to the program director. They play ten songs. Uh, every hour it's basically like every other radio station but the the fact is like Hot 97 is the quote unquote home of hip hop mm-hmm. and it's po- it was supposed to be like the mecca like cause I mean it's the New York based radio station right. that's where where it started it's po- they're supposed to be tastemakers I remember supposed that's, to, where it, that's what it used to be right yeah. they would have underground artists come on and talk about how, you know yeah. what they were what they were working on and shit but they don't, I don't think they do that anymore no they don't and that's Chuck D's problem and Pete Rosenberg was trying to defend that, defend the radio station. Then after a while, he apologized because he knew he was wrong. And then Angie Martinez quit. Oh, oh no! I mean, she's been there for like fifteen years. Yeah, it's a big deal when she a radio there personality the just quits for no reason. And then the reason is that she knows that place is a piece of shit, <laughs> and she left. Get off of the sinking ship. Yo, yeah, she's she keeping it real though. Angie Martinez, the truth. She gonna get her own radio word, station word. on Sirius. Remember when she used to rap? <laughs> yes. Try to rap. Yes. Ah, so Baby, good. let's go to Montego. Uh. <laughs> Something else to uh. stop. They're gonna sue us. They're anyway, making, they're making no other money on that song anymore. Back to the droog. Right. Back to your old droog. So obviously, uh, people have been going back and forth on the internet because that's the place to fight. Apparently. Yeah. Uh, so there's one side that says this is absolutely not Nas. It's clear that this is not Nas. Anybody that thinks it's Nas is an idiot uh, for thinking that. I guess you're an idiot. You know? And yeah. then there's the other side that says this is absolutely Nas. I'm more on that side of saying it's absolutely Nas. You think so? Based on not only the way he flows, but down to word by word, exactly. No. uh-uh. Disagree. Okay. Why? He raps like a young rapper. There are lines that he says that only a young rapper would say, like about his age. What do you mean? Actually, I think there's more lines about Nas in in his raps. Like, there's more subtle hints to it being Nas. Well, I don't think Nas would do that to to like to himself if he's pretending to be someone else. Mm. Well, I mean, it, it, why would he so blatantly be like, uh, "I'm not Nas," but here are a bunch of Nas lines? Well, I mean, probably because he, you know, he could just write his story out completely. You know, if he, if you when you're writing something, you mean. So it, it comes it was, out event, you know. You think it was just like shit in like an old rhyme book he never produced? Could have been. I mean, no, I don't. I don't think it was. <laughs> I don't think it was that. I just feel like you know, if if you have a style that's been established for what twenty years now, yeah, 20 that it's kind of hard for him to kind of shake it just for one, you know, eight song project. No, but I like I don't know. Maybe I was just trying to listen to like Illmatic Nas. Like I heard a bunch of Illmatic like references mm-hmm. on there, but. I was listening for Illmatic Nas flow, and maybe I like because I didn't, I haven't heard anything new from Nas in a long ass time. Right. But that's what I was listening for, and that's not what I heard. Yeah. I heard a completely different flow, <laughs> different wordplay, but I mean like the situations that he, like portrayed, I can understand Nas talking about, mm-hmm. but at the same time, like the lyrics didn't fit the rapper. Right. Did you listen to Life Is Good? No, 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 I no, think no. So. Nas, Life is Good. Oh, no. His, his last album. No, no, no. It's actually a pretty good album. Uh, it, you know, I think I think it's one of his better albums. Um, Especially and, lately. And there's there's tracks on there where, like, he's supposed to, like, he's supposed to be, like, the Nas Return, like, uh, Nas the Dawn, Nas the Dawn. Uh, there's, a, there's a bunch of tracks Nosh. on there where he's supposed to be, what? Nostradamus. Nostradamus. Um... But if you listen to that and then listen to Euro Drew, like that's that's Nas today. <laughs> that's Nas today. That's what it sounds like. Like listen to Nas the Dawn and then listen to something from Euro Drew. It's the same kind of wordplay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you don't have to. Like I don't wanna like I want nomadic Nas just here. That's all I want. That's hear. over. Yeah. If you wanna hold on to that and never listen to anything he's dropped since. No, yeah, I'm fine with that. Okay, All right. that's fine. That's fine. I'm fine with that. I mean, uh, to be clear, that I'm in... Sucks. He I'm, peaked really early. No, yeah. I, I mean, still Matic, I feel, is also up there as far as classic albums. Yeah, but I don't think it's... As, it's not as good. 
Oh, is absolutely Illmatic, right. No, for me, Illmatic, I, like I said before in this podcast, it's like probably my favorite hip hop album of all time. Yeah. Personally. So, that's kind of a high thing to achieve. So yeah. You, like, what do you think? As far as what? Drew? Who's, yeah, who's Drew? Uh, I mean, yeah. I, I'm not going to say that I'm 100% certain that it's Nas. I, I have a good feeling that it's him. I think it's him. I mean, I, I'm I'm looking at it more from like a Flying Lotus, Captain Murphy kind of thing, mm-hmm. where it's not so much as like it's not like a career reinvention. It's just something you know. He was probably bored and he just right. said, "Fuck it, why not?" Yeah, you know. I don't know. I think it's a dude that just made a mixtape, happened to sound like Nas, and someone went, "This sounds like Nas," and then someone went, "No, it's not." Yes, it is. Internet. Mm-hmm. Well, see, like the thing is, like. Action Bronson, people said he sounded like Ghostface, right? Right, but now, now he doesn't. He right, doesn't he, he doesn't. Like he Ghost sounds Ghost. nothing like him except for like a high pitched voice, basically. Right. And like that's Tone not of his voice, a good much. comparison. And Action Bronson is a totally different MC. Now the problem is, if your old Drew is a real person and not Nas, everything he does is based on like if you look at the pictures of this guy. He looks like he he wants to be Nas. Like he's wearing baggy clothes and, and like yeah. beanies and hoodies and he's like real like New York up and you know what right. I'm saying? All this, that, let's, and the third. Let's back up Stop a little it. bit because. Sorry. <laughs> because the. I just got my New York on. Sorry, you know what I'm saying? Sorry, my bad. <laughs> my bad, B. My bad. <laughs> the, uh, the apparent true story of who Euro Drug is supposed to be is apparently. Uh, I'm not rapping. Uh, <laughs> Look like it. <laughs> Look like it, B. Uh, is apparently like a twenty-something guy from Brooklyn. That's a white guy, uh, supposedly of Russian descent, and they have pictures of some guy that just, you know, wears beanies and oversized clothes. Mm-hmm. And uh, just recently, the reason that I bring this up is because recently there was a video that supposedly shows him right, in a, in the studio. My problem with that video, and let me get it out there to be completely clear, I'm not 100 percent sure it's Nas either. But I'm more on that side, for sure. Right. Absolutely. Definitely more on the side of it being Nas. But apparently in this video, he's supposed to be rapping, but he's he's clearly just rapping over a track. Like, he's not oh, actually he's saying the words. He's right. lip-syncing throughout that entire track. If I was a new artist that got this buzz all of a sudden, I'd be the first person out there going, that's not Nas, this is me, yeah. I'm rapping. You know, like, I don't understand what he's trying to do well, see, by doing this. Th- that's what I was saying. That's why I brought up Action Bronson and his comparison to Ghostface. Because if, if your old Drew is a real person, like, he's not doing anything to differentiate himself from Nas. So when it comes out that he actually is a real person, everyone's going to stop caring. It's going to be disappointing because it's just Right. It's just going to be another guy who's trying to sound like, you know, another legend. It's like you're biting Nas' style. It... it to me, it's better that it is Nas because it's just Nas doing a side project. If it's just some 20-something guy from Brooklyn who sounds exactly like Nas, chooses Nas's beats, raps like him, has the same flow, then why, why, why do I care? I just listen yeah. to Nas. Right. You know? So, like, I, like, half of me just wants it to be Nas, and the other half, like, I think it is him. I hope. I really hope. I mean, there's, there's even an article in The New Yorker that there's a guy that apparently met Euro Drug in person. Yeah, I saw and, that. And, you know, like, has this entire spiel about how he, it's definitively not Nas. Uh, it's not even a guy that he hired to make it seem like it was him. Because we're supposed to just take this guy's word. Oh, well, <laughs> since this dude said it in The New Yorker, how could it be anything otherwise? And that's how the internet's been taking it, though. They've been saying, well, it's definitively not Nas because this guy says so. Some and, fucking guy said it. And there's a lip sync video. That's not enough for me. No. But, you know, we are going to find out on, let's see, Wednesday, September 3rd, because that's when... He has that performance? Live performance. Really? Which he apparently got, this is supposedly his first big show, right? Uh-huh. Uh, he got Webster Hall. What? Yeah. Webster Hall in New York City is a big deal for most people. See, that's not, I mean, he's just so lucky he's banking off of his hype, man. Maybe it's it crazy. is nice. Nas Maybe could get is. Webster Na- Hall. Nas could get Webster Hall. And that's my point. All signs lead to it being Nas. I'm not 100% sure because, I mean, I I don't know. For all it could be some guy that is sort of emulating this guy's style. But just to get it to that small minute minutia of 
perfection of having the flow and the cadence and minutia, 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 and word. the science of it. Who do you think's listening to this podcast? Smart people, we minutia. hope. Scientists, minutia. scientists. <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill. Future scientists, all mm-hmm. of you, you smart, beautiful people. Oh, we man. love you all. That was a nice thing to say. Yeah, that was really good. Anyway, nobody says minutia. We should do that more often. Uh, if it is Nas, that'd be pretty cool. That he just played everybody like that. Yeah. Just for fun. Um, but if it's not, then, I mean, do you think people would be disappointed? Do you think people are genuine fans of your old Drew? No. Nope. I don't. And I that was think people be... want it to be Nas because they, they want, they're fans of Nas and they want this right. to be a cool side project of Nas. If it's just some guy, I guarantee you we're not even going to be talking about him in like three three weeks. Yeah. Well, when's this, when the show? September the 3rd. 3rd? Yeah. Two weeks from then. <laughs> if it turns out to be some guy this Wednesday yeah two weeks from this Wednesday we're not gonna give a shit yeah I mean I've, I've seen people uh, say in comments okay this is clearly not Nas but he's still tight though yeah they'll you know? say that but like it, it's not like okay when when everyone found out like when Flying Lotus came out that he was uh, Captain Murphy like Captain Murphy Opposite. had this huge what? when Captain Murphy came out as Flying Lotus right Eh, it still works. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> Continue. Um, when he when he did that, like, okay, Captain Murphy had this huge buzz going, mm-hmm. and everybody was really into it, and the like weird like cult videos and stuff like that. <laughs> it was it was kind of, it was awesome. Yeah. Why it was, is that a thing now? What cult? Not cult, the cult type thing, stuff. Just or, or artist, internet mystery artists artists pretending artists. to be someone else. Because it it generates easy buzz. When people the mystery brings people in that's like stupid though like if that becomes a trend i'm gonna get so pissed it, it, off i'm pretty sure it already is a trend yeah. <laughs> if, if <laughs> this guy like, ends oh up, look most deaf is pretending to be someone else if if this guy ends up being nas then yeah it's become a trend because like yeah. the week when the weekend came out nobody knew what he looked like mm-hmm. they didn't even know if it was really like a person or it could have been drake or somebody else like you know there was a lot of mystery surrounded by this guy then the whole captain murphy thing now your old drew i mean it I think it's it's fun as long as it's done right. We, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Yeah, no, we talked about this before too, but the the fact that it brings people in is not enough. You need to have good material to back that up to right. maintain the audience that you get from that mystery. Right. And and that's the problem with your old Drew. It's yeah. like the EP is it's cool. I, I like it. Yeah. I can listen to it, but I mean it's not like a it's like a Joey badass. Yeah. Like I mean we get that he has talent but that's not enough anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, just because the guy can rap through three verses, like, we get it. You're good at this thing. Well, it's material for an EP. I don't think it'd be material for, like, a full release, like right. an album. Right. It's not good enough for an album. And it, it and that's what I'm, like, with, with uh, Captain Murphy, well, getting back to that, when he finally came out and he did the show and everybody was like, oh, shit, it's Flying Lotus, like, two days later, nobody gave a shit. <laughs> And did he you, hasn't released anything since as like Captain the, Murphy. Did you like the mixtape? With the Drew mixtape? Yeah. yeah. Did you like the mixtape? Yeah, I liked it. I liked it. Yeah, it, it, I mean, it, so, it's definitely not whack. So what's the what's the problem? The problem is if it's just some guy who sounds like Nas, like even though it, it may be good, but it's like it's it's derivative. He's trying to be somebody else. Right. It, it, he needs to differentiate himself more if that's the case, just like Action Bronson did. You know. Yeah. Like, right, I mean, you, you, when you first listen, like when you listen to Action Bronze's old stuff, like he does kind of sound like Ghostface. I mm-hmm. mean, there was, you know, he was starting to like have the references and stuff and the wild kind of personality. Right. But like on his first, like Bon Appetit, bitch is just mm-hmm. he's just rapping. It's like thirty songs. And he's just flow, flow, flow. Right, and that's yeah. all it is. Then when he, you know, he starts making you care about him as a person and bringing more personality right. into the songs. He and builds like his character. More obscure references and stuff that's like more entertaining than, I mean, Ghostface is one of my favorite rappers, but he's kind of fallen off now. Oh, yeah. Ghostface, I mean, uh, Action Bronson is hands down the most entertaining rapper in hip-hop right now. There's Agreed. No, there's nobody more entertaining, more fun to watch when he does right. stuff. It's just, he's, he's, it's great. Yeah. That's, I don't know how you would I, I don't know. I don't know how anybody could not like it. I mean, because like, everything he does is like awesome. The videos are entertaining. <laughs> yeah. So you're a fan. <laughs> the, I mean, but like, you know, even removing myself from that, just like, it's Nobody plain Nobody else is good. doing that. 
right, nobody exactly. else Everything he is does making is, these is... cinematic ass videos that are funny, right? And they have this retro feel to them, yeah. and they're always like it's always a different feel. Yeah, like the uh, <laughs> shit. What's it called? Uh, identity. You gotta edit this part out. <laughs> what's it called? Shit. The one where he's a pimp, um, and he smacks the oh, fuck. That's the delicious. Symbol. The symbol, yeah. The symbol was funny. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then uh, the one where he, he, he bribes the Knicks. Yeah, the the promo for Blue Chips, too. Yes. Yeah. Hilarious. And then this new one, Easy Rider. Great stuff. Come yeah. on. Great stuff. That, and, but that see, song is stupid that, good. That's what I'm saying. Like, if, if your old Drew is a, a different person, then he has to do something that makes you care about him. Not because the, the only reason that we care is it could be Nas. That is the only reason anyone cares. Yeah. Yeah. Once that's found out that it's not, then he needs to do something to let us know that there's a reason to give a shit about him afterward. Right. That's what I'm hoping for. Is that after he comes out... Because, okay, going back to The weekend, for instance, he started putting a, a, a bunch of material out. Mm-hmm. Uh, people started to get to know him as a person, and now no one gives a shit. Because he didn't do anything to hold people's interest. There's okay. still a fan there's base. Of course there's still shit. a fan base. And there's still going to be people who listen to your old Drew. But I'm, if you remember when The Weeknd first came out, the kind of buzz he oh, yeah. had with uh, House of Balloons, it was like it was palpable. It well, was he, he, just, was, he was riding off the, uh, the Drake fame, too. Right, that's what I'm saying. Like, like so many people... We're like, this guy's the new fucking guy, and mm-hmm. fucking love him, blah, blah, blah. Right. Now it's like, well, he's established, and we know him, but he's not done anything to keep people interested. Yeah, the last know? album didn't do anything. Action Bronson has done things to keep people interested. He yeah. does, you know, different videos, the the cooking thing, the video, like, like David was saying, how cinematic and great the actual videos are themselves. Like, he actually cares about... The image that he portrays and like how it looks to people, like right. when you go to his Instagram or any of his like his Twitter account or anything Action Bronson related, it's always entertaining. That's the point. Yeah. And that's what you have to do, especially in hip hop nowadays. You know, people don't have to buy anything anymore. People don't have that's to true. care. That's why the internet matters so much too. Right, and that's why you need to use it to it the the, the most advantage that you can. Thank you. If you don't do that, then what's the point? Why Why should we care? We should. Give, give us a reason to give a shit. As I think we should cap that off. Give us a reason, your old Droog. After we find out that you're just some white kid from Russia, give us a reason to give a shit. Yeah, a Russian's rapping like Nas. We want to care. Because, I mean, I mean, okay, Action Bronson is from uh, Albania. He's some he's white dude. He's not from Albania. He's, his ethnicity is Culturally well, Albania. same thing with uh, your old Drew. Yeah. He's, he's from Brooklyn, but his, his cult- culturally he's... Russian. He's, or, yeah. Supposedly. So, once we find out that it's some white kid, give us a reason to give right. a shit. And this will be releasing probably close to the time that everybody finds out. So, yeah. you know, leave us a comment on what your reaction is to how this ended up because we're we're going off speculation still so.